long hairs. What's happening? And welcome to this new series that we're doing here on our channel called The Main Cave. The goal of this series is to inspire confidence, develop masculinity, and foster this long hair community. How will we be doing that? Well, we'll be touching on the hard hitting topics we get asked a lot. And oftentimes, we have written blog posts or other pieces of content about them. So we'll probably reference some of that, talk about our own personal experiences, and give you all the stuff to reach those goals. So in this first episode, episode one, we are going to touch on the topic we get asked frequently, whether it's in the Instagram DMs, on the customer support line, in person, everywhere, how do I make my hair grow faster? It's called steroids. <laughs> yeah. But you'll get it everywhere. <laughs> It'll grow everywhere. Exclusive hair-focused steroids are actually your only chance, mm -hmm. and they don't exist. There's no such thing, so it's complete bullshit. Yeah. There is no way is the simple answer. There yeah. really is no way. But, but there's stuff, right? There's a few things you can do to <laughs> stimulate growth, uh, help your hair achieve uh, a longer length, not necessarily growing faster, but letting your hair grow longer. But first, like, where are you at right now? You're, what is that, like 18, 19 inches? Yeah, pretty long. Yeah. Pretty much to that uh, nipple uh, marker, which is like, if you get there, you have super long hair. Yeah, yeah. And you've been growing for how long? Well, since the great cut, shaved it in uh, 2019, so it's 2022, so three years solid. Three years solid. Had a few a trims over. there, in the, you know, yeah, here yeah. and there. Uh, pretty well documented here on this channel with the, you know, El, El Moreno, growing with Moreno. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I think for me personally is just having the confidence through all those stages. And then, you know, how do you, how do you get that? Well, there's things you can use to mitigate certain things. Sure. Uh, in a blog post here we published back in November 5th of 2015, <laughs> we really hit on, and the title of this is How to Make Your Hair Grow Faster. But one of the core things that really helped me out and that we talk about here is wearing a hat. Sure. You wear a lot of hats. But I wear a hat almost every day. If you have a chance, if you're going to grow your hair out and you can wear a hat at work or you know in your daily life, it yes. does make growing it out a lot easier. That will make the hair growth to the people around you seem way faster because you'll be tucking up your awkward stage hair and then one day you'll just let it down and people will be like, whoa, dude, you got... Where'd this come from? And <laughs> yeah. you've just been rocking hats, soft lids, hard lids, beanies, whatever, yeah. all growing season. And uh, <laughs> so to other people that may uh, give the illusion of, of you growing faster, but some actual tips, yeah. you know, to like, to help, uh, to help you achieve a longer hair length. Uh, one would be uh, a big one for me is regular trimming. Um, a lot of times as your hair gets longer, you'll see uh, you develop split ends, your hair feels dry. Uh, and a lot of uh, where people think they reach their terminal length, their, their hair is, is really just breaking off at the ends because it's so damaged. So getting a trim every, you know, I'd four to six months. I was doing it six months when yeah. I was doing it back out. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then as I got longer, like pat to the ears, I'd go like a year. Mm-hmm. So yeah, six, every six months or so is, is a healthy amount. Um, any more often you'll be, you, you'll be diminishing length um, and not just taking off the dead ends. Uh, and then anything longer, you're gonna be just developing more split ends, breakage and things like that. Yeah, so everything he's talking about is being health, keeping the hair at maximum health. Yeah. Uh, but even before that is what you are doing with your body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> taking care of your body first. The yeah. hair is always the first thing to show and your nails are like, if you're living crap life, your hair and your nails typically yeah. are the first things to get less of the nutrients. Yeah. So eating right, sleeping right, working out, getting after it, staying savage, <laughs> being sick also will help you in the health and growth of the hair. Definitely. So that's a good tip, the health aspect. The yeah. tool, using a hat, a beanie, those are tools. Mm -hmm. Touch back on the tool real quick. Mm. Cause I see this happen to a lot of people too. It's like, you get too comfortable with the hat. Like the hat yeah, or yeah, the yeah. beanie becomes like a security thing. Sure, yeah, yeah. And then even when you have long hair, you still don't ditch it. Yeah. And you're still wearing it all the yep, time. Yep. 
It's don't, like a security blanket. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. You got to look, know when to shed it, shed the hat, let it go. I mean, you still wear it, you know, but that's not an everyday yeah, type yeah, yeah. deal. Don't let it be a style, a, a style accessory, not, yeah. a, not a security blanket. Exactly. I'm still a borderline security blanket, <laughs> but uh, uh, we, got some, we got some sweet hats that keep me dialed. And yeah. then also, of course, our friends from Westside Love, too, always keeping me uh, fresh on top. Westside Love to us. Yeah. They got great hats, if, yeah. you, if you're looking for a good hat. Great hats. Stage. Um, so, okay, trimming, uh, living a relatively healthy lifestyle, and making sure your hair is getting all the nutrients it needs to look its best and be its strongest. Yep. Um, Just take care of yourself, man. Take, yeah. So, and then before even you get, so once you've taken care of your, nutri your nutrition, before you even get to that cutting stage, there's going to be, you know, the time from your previous cut up until now, you need to be hydrating those ends, taking care of the lengths of your hair, making sure that that stuff stays hydrated and healthy. Um, the more your hair dries out, the more susceptible it is to breakage and split ends. And um, that you, takes us into products. Yeah. So, pro so like, what do you use to hydrate? Uh, hydro flow, hydro flow, our own hydro flow, yeah. our own leave in conditioner is great. Leave in conditioner in general is awesome uh, for hydrating and keeping you healthy. But ours, obviously we are partial to. Yeah. Definitely. And it's great. It's the shit, honestly. Look, we have a whole Apex hair care lineup. Now, if you're like in the awkward stage, you're trying to grow it out and all this stuff, you probably don't really even know about leave in conditioner or dry shampoo or any of those things. Those kind of come later as you get a little bit more dialed in with what your hair needs. Where the basis is, is just starting with good product. You know, we advocate for ours, of course, but there's a lot of other good stuff out there. Yeah. What you want to stay away from is parabens, sulfates, uh, the two-in-one stuff. Yeah, three-in-one stuff. Know, don't just use a bar of soap that you use on your body, on your hair, if you're really being serious about growing it out. It's just not going to work out for you. And that stuff can fly when you have short hair because you're getting that stuff yeah. cut off every... Four weeks if you're keeping a really fresh fade yeah. or something like that. Whatever, dude. Use a bar. Use your Dove soap. <laughs> dry your scalp out. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. But when you get to this stage, you want to put be, be using quality products in your hair, whether it's ours or somebody else's. Give ours a shot. Yeah. Honestly, it's like the first time I used the hair serum a few years ago was a revelation. Yeah. And not only that, but the, 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 when I first used the shampoo and conditioner, and now we've just put out put out the Hydro Flow. That is a staple in my routine. Yeah. Um, so, recapping again, healthy lifestyle, making sure you're getting the nutrients, uh, hydrating, taking care of your hair, uh, and then getting regular trims. And if you're in the awkward stage, um, wearing hats, headbands, head wraps, um, you know, you can really, you can really dial in your, your Cristiano kind of steez with the, with the thin headband. Um, try stuff. Yeah. When it comes to the tools. Try, try a bunch it. of stuff. So ultimately, long story short, there's really no way to grow it faster. There are ways that you can prevent damage and support your hair's health that will keep it longer. A really important one is daily brushing. Um, you want to remove the dead hairs from your scalp and the rest of your hair. Uh, one thing that causes damage is friction um, and having extra dead stuff, whether it's lint, skin, dead hair, in, you know, with the rest of your healthy stuff is gonna cause tangles, is gonna cause breakage. When you, pull, when you pull hair ties out, if you've got a stray hair kind of wrapped around a healthy one and you pull it off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, brush your hair regularly. That not only does it help remove stuff that has no business being in your hair, um, it stimulates your scalp. It increases blood flow to your scalp when you use Especially the Continental, our, one of our brushes, the Continental, has those bulbs on the end that really, and it feels incredible. Yeah, it's a massage it's for a, your head. Yeah, massage your scalp, yeah. brush your hair regularly, eat good, get trimmed, stay hydrated. Use the good product. Yeah. So hopefully that gives you some confidence to tackle, you know, your hair growth journey. Uh, another thing that I want to point out, at, uh, just kind of coming to the masculinity side a little bit, is it's a challenge, you know? Look at it as a challenge for you, not just the actual fact of growing your hair out, but as you go through this period, you're gonna get challenges that will be that will come from looking like a weirdo with the awkward stage, or maybe your boss tells you this, your family's giving you pressure to cut it and stuff. These are little tiny th like things that will happen in your, in your hair growth journey, which will help you to overcome other obstacles, other things. So anywhere you have an opportunity to 
to, to grow, not just the hair, but as a person, you know, use this time and this challenge of growing your hair out to also, how am I getting better mm. as, as a man in other things that I'm going to do? It, whether, whether that's your fitness, your work, your creativity, whatever the hell. Yeah. It takes a certain <laughs> resilience to hear those comments from your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, you know, the wife, the part, your partner, um, it takes a certain um, uh, amount of resilience to hear that over and over and still push through and, and let that translate into other stuff. Yeah. Um, like getting shit done. Yeah. Also, if you need some quick tips, we got a place for that, right? Yeah, quick tips. You don't need to be a hair expert, okay? But there is a few things every single guy with long hair needs to know, and we offer that with our quick tips. So We, we cover brushing, we cover shampoo, conditioner, stuff not to do to your hair, some, you know, easy... Easy, quick tips. Yeah. Sign up for that on the website. Yep, links in the description. Also link to all the products we're talking about are there too. And if you got any questions, drop them here. Maybe that'll be what we talk about in the next main cave. All right, till next time, boys. See you.